Right, well, we're back now, and yeah, so we're playing this. It's a game, and it's horror. I just quickly set my timer. So, edit, right. Sorry. I forgot to set the timer just in case. Cool, alright, 25 minutes. Alright. So yeah, uh, so, sorry about the voice. Um, I'm actually part of a a podcast group that okay, you can't go through that way. Podcast group, and we do um, an audio play. It's called Doctor Freedom and Eric. I can't get the door open. I play Doctor Rory Scho Schofield, and I've got a Scottish accent. It that wasn't the best part, but, but first version just then. Um, I do have to like practice it a bit before I can. Are you? <laughs> I do have to practice the voice every now and again before I start recording the um my script. You know um so yeah. Yeah, the podcast group I'm a part of is called the Omega Files. Sorry. We've, um, we normally do, uh, Doctor Who episodes for the new episodes when they come out. No season, um, this year, unfortunately. So, um, yeah. Um, we do do movie reviews sometimes, depending if the movie's big enough and interesting enough a sightseeing brochure for the town is lying here right reading voice welcome to silent hill silent hill a quiet little lakeside resort town we're happy to have you take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here row after row of quaint old houses a gorgeous mountain landscape and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor Roger Widmark uh, It's a shame it's a hellhole now, full of demons and hell spawn. Just make sure there's nothing else here. It, it, it's actually kind of interesting to have that little note saying basically, you know, this was once a pleasant little town. Um, I did read the the comic, um, what was it? Uh, oh, I can't remember. It's basically set, like, in the um, uh, early or late 1800s. And it's uh, like when Silent Hill is still a, 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 sl a smaller town. And uh, it's about this guy who... Whoa. To hell, huh? Damn. I didn't know the swimming pool was equivalent to hell, but okay. Because that's where we are right now. We're outside. And this is the swimming pool area. There's nothing else laying around around out here. Nope. There's one thing that bothers me about this section, I'll show you.
You bugger. Stop moving. I saw a, 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 what do you call it, a thing online that says basically there's an easy way to get that coin. And I've never had an easy time getting that sodding coin. I just fell back in the pool. Uh, yeah, I was talking about the podcast that we did. Um, yeah, we talk about... Oh, bloody hell. I guess that's the good thing and bad thing about this game. I mean, uh, you, I think you can fall over a few times in the original Silent Hill. I think I fell over once on camera. But, um, oh, you, you fall over once in this game and just... It's almost an, a, a, a comical thing. Stay away from the freaking edge. No, oh, come on! Oh, this is ridiculous. Bugger it. I was going to show you this area that, over here, but... It looks like you can go in, and you should... It looks like you should be able to go in, but you can't. This is silly. Alright, let's, uh... Straight ahead. Take that other, uh, door I locked, I believe. Let's see... There, down the end. Yep, that way. So, uh, yeah. Right, we're in the stairwell. I just found it weird in apartments. People store crap in the in, in the bottom of the stairwells for some reason. I I lived in an apartment in Sydney for I don't know how many years uh, for a couple of years in Sydney, and um, some guy used to put his bike in the bottom of the stairwell. It was annoying. I don't, want to, don't want to strafe. I want a quick turn. Uh, here's a question: Has anyone um, either read or listened to the audiobook versions for the um, Silent Hill games, like the novelizations? Because I've been trying to look for a, an audiobook version, but I've never been able to find one. Okay, um... No, no, no one... There. There's a whole map I'm missing. Okay, alright, alright, um... So it's not here. There's a whole section of map that I'm missing, I think. Alright. I got two out of three coins. Just gotta get the third one now. Oh, there's camera angles. Oh. Must have missed the map in here somewhere for this building. Oh, these controls, man. I love tank controls, but I hate when 
you push multiple buttons by accident at once. It feels like you spend like a a very long time in the apartments as well. Ah, I know where I'm going. I bug it up. Reload. Fifty rounds, that's fine. Ah, that's where I'm going. Quick turn. No, quick turn. Um Hang on. No. Let's just, yeah, bugger it. Let's just run back to the other way. Because now I know where I'm going. It's the second floor. Well, what you call the second floor. I'm going to say the first floor. I know it's confusing. Different um, regional things and whatnot. Like uh, in some buildings here over in uh, in uh, Sydney, because there's a high Asian density population, some buildings don't have a floor with the number 4 in it. So 4, 14, 24, there's no num uh, 24 or whatever. It goes, you know, 1, 2, 3, 5, and so on and so on. That's because of, um, in Japanese culture... The number four and the word death sound very very similar so they don't have a fourth floor it's the same thing in japan i believe and i've got monsters again i'm gonna run run like hell yes we're out of here There's no fire escape outside the door. Maybe they knocked it down when they built the building next door. I think I can get I think I can get into the building next door if I go through the window in front of me. Didn't even give me the option. That was the coolest cutscene because it had the different angles and whatnot, and of him climbing through the window, which was cool. I really liked that cutscene. There are so many good cutscenes in this game, even um, just the gameplay in this game too is quite amazing. Oh, if you're squeamish, by all means, look away. It looks like there's something stuck inside the toilet. Will you take it out? Okay. It looks like a wallet. There's something, some kind of memo in it. Nine, six, fifteen, twelve. Okay. That sound. It sounded like he was like wiggling his fingers in the water. That was gross. What am I looking at? What the hell am I looking at? Ah, oh, safe, alright. That was like a monster or something over here. I'm like, what the hell? Alright. 9, 6, 15, 12. Alright, so. Uh, 
hit that memo again. Uh, memo. <laughs> wallet and toilet bowl. Nine. Nine to the left. Er, to the right. Six to the left. Fifteen, then twelve. Ridiculous. Fuck a rope for a moment. What's that? It's looking like at the newspaper, it looks like it. Yeah. Just check that memo all the time. Was it nine six fifteen twelve? Nine six fifteen twelve. Nine six fifteen twelve. Sorry people, I'm not doing cuts and edits. If it takes as long as it takes, it takes as long as it takes. Alright, so 9, 6, 9, 6, there we go, bloody thing. I got handgun bullets, handgun bullets, handgun bullets. Alright, we got a ton of ammo. Awesome. Alright, sorry about that. Didn't help, I got the number ring wrong too. Oh, it was water. If you look around as well, the first apartment building we were in, it looked run down, but it wasn't too badly run down. If you look at this one, there's like water damage on the walls, it looks like smoke, carpets ripped up. What's this? Can't get the door open. Creek apartment. I got the map of the West apartment building. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, I think I saw something else over here. No. I thought I saw something like a of ammo or something. Oh, what now? <laughs> there. You're not a friend of mine. I shot you. Oh, what's this in here? Might be something useful. No? No, nothing. Okay. Well, that was a, a sharp sweeping turn. That one's got garbage bags all over it. It's locked. There's a note stuck in the door. Dear Tim, I have run an errand so I'm going out. 
I left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key is in the room near the first floor staircase. I'll be back as soon as I can, so please watch the place while I'm gone. So, um, a quick look. Memo. Dear Tim, basically, um, that memo is a, a wink and a nod to the movie, um, whoa, the movie, uh, Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> that movie, uh, it, it, it's a wink and a nod to Jacob's Ladder, which is a really, really good movie and should never, ever, ever, ever be remade. Ever. Alright, that staircase is a nightmare. That, uh, that locked blue door, that's a nightmare. Only bad things come out of that staircase. Okay, so, um, there's no third floor. You'll find that quite often in Silent Hill, you know, you think there's a floor above you and you go there, it's either, oh, we can see through, hello. Uh, it's either blocked off or, oh. Uh, it's either blocked off or uh, something like that. Where am I? Okay. Uh huh. Back camera angle. Like, it looked like there was nothing else there. Oh, not roaches. I hate the roaches. Irritating little buggers. Okay. This is the coin puzzle room. We're still short one coin though, so uh we'll just explore what's around in here. Hey, look, there's a save point. I'm not gonna save though right now. No need. Oh, what's that? I got white chrism. Hmm. What is that? Never had it in the first playthrough, so I don't know what it is. Glass bottle containing milky white anointing oil. Okay. Oh, that's right, I've been in here. Alright. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, is that another door in here? I'm sure there is. Oh, what, what did he say? There's nothing in the bookshelf that looks like it would be of any use. What, you can't club a monster to death with a, an encyclopedia or something, James? Those things are heavy. stick to this side. Fucking... <laughs> 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 Guys, uh, you know, rate, share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you enjoy this, by all means, you know, uh, just leave a comment if you like. You know, tell me what you do like, what you don't like. You know, if, if my voice, my accent, you don't like it, tell me. It's all good. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Catch up.